No, 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 no. I'm not very good. My meat doesn't taste great. However, I know someone who can feed you. Really? Yes. How about we go there? Let's go. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Ready, set, and grow. Wow! Look at that! Hi, my friends, it's me, Kitty. K-I-D-I. And today, we're gonna go on a great adventure. We're gonna learn everything there is to know about sharks and rays. Today, we're at Nasica, the biggest aquarium in Europe. I hope you're ready, because I know I am. Let's go! Now, the thing is, sharks are fish. So they have gills, but most importantly, unlike most fish, they have a dorsal fin. You know, that's why we do this symbol when we talk about sharks while diving. And you can really, it's really easy to recognize them. And if you see one peeking through the surface, that means you should run. Like, now! Sharks can be very impressive because they have so many teeth. They can have up to 14 rows of teeth, each just packed. And the most interesting thing is, you know when you grow up, your baby teeth fall out and your adult teeth come in. Well, they don't have baby teeth, they just have infinite amount of teeth. For their entire life, they will lose teeth and then they will come back. Ow! Ah, that really hurts. Well, yeah, they're here to eat food. Yeah, what's well, painful? Stop. Stop. Learn to be a good boy. I'm hungry. Anyway, I think it's time to see what they actually eat. Why do they need so many teeth? Wow! Look, we're in the kitchen! Because it's important, you know, to cook and prepare the food for the sharks. And I'm with Clément. Hi there. So, where's the food? It's the fridge. Great, let's go there. Oh, so, there's some shrimps. Hello, I'm a shrimp. But that's not for sharks, no. For sharks, we'll need calamari. It's important when you cook this type of food to put some gloves on. <laughs> Here, we put some vitamins in the food. You know, just like the vitamin you eat in winter so that you don't fall sick. So, Clément just did a little incision. He dug in with his knife so that I can hide one little vitamin in it. Because you know, they won't eat the vitamin like that. You need to trick them into eating them. <laughs> Oof! Ooh, look at all that. Ooh, it's slippery, it's slippery, it's slippery. It's, ah. it's eating time! <laughs> Ooh. It's huge! But then again, there's so many sharks, they need space. Oh, look at that. Ooh! The seahorse is one of the oldest existing underwater animals, as it dates back almost 40 million years. Ooh, that's many, many, many years ago, just after the dinosaurs. Huh. Oh, its silhouette reminds of a pony, but the seahorse is indeed a fish that lives in most of the planet's seas. <gasps> and seahorses have a funny head <laughs> with two mobile eyes, each of which can move independently of the other. And they can spot the food from a long distance. <gasps> the seahorses move very slowly. So, they don't have much defense-wise. So, to remain undetected by their predators, 
they use camouflage colors to hide in the underwater scenery. Good job, seahorses. <laughs> It's lunchtime! <laughs> Are you ready, sharks? Lunchtime! Friend sharks! sharks. It's, it's lunchtime! Friend sharks! It's lunchtime! Now, as you can see, we use a rod to feed them because they are dangerous predators as you know. The thing with sharks is they, well for this species anyway, they live as a group which is very cool and they hunt and so to do that they have a good sense of smell which allowed them to smell blood. They would smell a drop of blood in this tank and they also have some little cells, some hairy cells which allowed them to perceive vibrations. Now, one thing which is very interesting with sharks is that even though they are huge, like they can be the one in those tanks up to two meters long, they don't eat all that much once or twice a week. You and I, we eat three times a day, normally. Then they can go a whole week without eating. Yeah, well, that's important because, you know, we need to stay healthy and fit. You're a shark. You, you swim all day long. You're, you're always doing workouts. Yeah, but, you know, health is important. True. I can't argue with that. Oh, hello there. Oh, it's so, it's very soft, but not velvety, just soft. So there are 630 species of rays in the ocean. Here there's like about 10-ish. And the thing is, they are cousins to the sharks. That's really interesting. And like the shark, they are very easy to spot. Oh, look, 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 right here. How can you distinguish a ray? Well, that's simple, it's flat. Look at that. You can see their mouth and you see they also have gills, but they're not on the side. They're on the top of the head and go through the body. Oh, hello again. Whee! Wow. Can you see right there? They're in the ground, buried, just like there. Now some rays, what they do to feed is all, they will just, you know, hide under the ground, but sometimes they will shake it up a bit in order to dislodge any muscles and little animals, oh look, in order to feed themselves. Oh wow. Wow. Mm, they want some belly scratches. Is that what you want? It's really cool. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> My hand's freezing. <laughs> Underwater SeaWorld has its very own superstar, and it does not need fancy sunglasses to be recognized, but white stripes. Please welcome the clownfish! Woo! Here it is. The clownfish are very friendly and have developed a very strong relationship with the anemone, a sea plant. The anemone is a safe shelter for the clownfish and in return, the clownfish's bright colors will scare away predators and oh, not so yummy for us humans. But the anemone will feast on the clownfish's poop. Now, at the moment, we are mixing some shrimps with some little granules. Those are vitamins. It's important for the rays. You don't want them to be sick. And then you will take this bottle and stuff it with the food. 
Then you'll add some tank water, you know, the one where they live. You'll mix it up and then you'll put the food in the tank. It'll create a cloud of food and the rays will just swim. And they will just be like that. It's feeding time. So we're going to lay on the mattress here and we'll just create that cloud of food in the tank. In a way, we are simulating plankton, a cloud of plankton, and they'll just, you know, a cloud of creel, and they'll just swim through it like they're, they're doing right now. They are really, really fast. Look at them. Ooh. Wow, that was great! That was awesome! But we haven't finished yet. We have so much more to see. Little kitty friends, look what's behind me. <gasps> jellyfish! Now, jellyfish are incredible. Look at them, they are so majestic in the water. The interesting things with them is you find them everywhere in the sea, from just under the surface to all down in the deep, dark depth of the ocean. And really, they've been here for so long. Even at the dinosaurs' time, they were already here, living with the dinosaurs. Look at them, still here. They mostly feed on plankton and small fish. Look at that one. See how it flipped over? It's because she's lazy, like very lazy. So she'll just flip over so that the plankton will just fall into her mouth. Hey there! We talk about plankton a lot, but what is plankton? Well, it's very easy. In the ocean, you will have tons of microscopic little animals or plants that you can see right there. But if they're microscopic, why can we see them? Well, this is a magnifying glass. Because when I say microscopic, I mean you can barely even see them with your bare eyes. Now you know what plankton is. The thing I was asking myself is, how do jellyfish just come to be? Where do they come from? Well, it's very interesting. Jellyfish lay eggs, but those eggs are weird because they turn into larvae, and those little larvae will just find somewhere to grab onto, you know, to hold tight, and from there will sprout some little jellyfish. They look like plates at that state, and they are so incredibly small that you can barely see them. They are really teeny weeny 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 jellyfish. <laughs> Coral is not a stone nor a plant, but the quiet jellyfish cousin. <gasps> Even if you don't see its gills, coral is breathing oxygen and growing as time goes by. Wow! Coral has a very important role underwater. Just like a mason, Coral is building long walls called reefs that provide shelter to all small inhabitants of the sea, like these adorable clownfishes. Ooh, hey clownfish! You remind me of someone. Hmm. Coral comes in various colors, from white to red. It feels happy in lukewarm tropical waters, exposed to generous light. That's why it's so easy to see it in clear water. Hello, my little kitties. At the moment, I'm with Florent, and Florent has a very important jug. If you look right here, look, there's an adult jellyfish. 
And now that it's all grown up, it's ready to go in the exposition tank for all the viewers to see. Are you ready? Yes. Let's see that. <laughs> this is going to be cool. Oh, look at it. There it goes. Wow. They are just so majestic. I love them. I, I really love them. Oh, what's that? No, you still can't. Stop. I know you're hungry, but you had two breakfasts this morning and that's way too much for you. You are small. No more food for now. Stop it. Look, there's, there's a teeny wing. I think this one is the little brother, actually. Yeah, that's little Tim. And oh, look at this one. She's even smaller. And this one over there. Well, I think this one is the one we just popped in. Hello, do you like it in there? Now, my little brainiacs, it's time for the kiddie quiz. Three questions on rays, sharks, and jellyfish. Let's see what you've learned. First question. What helps a shark to breathe? Is it A, gills, or B, a snorkel? Timer. The question is, how do sharks breathe? Ah, you have an answer? Okay, let's hear it. That's right! Sharks breathe through their gills. G-I-L-L-S. Great! Okay, second question. What do small rays eat? Is it A, plankton porridge, or B, cheeseburgers and fries? Time! The question is, what do small rays Eat. Ah, it's time! And your answer is... That's right, my friend! Rays eat plankton. P-L-A-N-K-T-O-N. And now for the third and last question. How do jellyfish make babies? Do they A. Lay eggs or B. Wait for a stork to deliver a baby? Time! The question is, how do jellyfish make babies? Ah, it's time, so... Yes, that's right, jellyfish lay eggs. E-G-G-S. Fantastic, you did a great job today. And you know what, just for that, you deserve a little dance. <laughs>
Set, grow. Ready, set, grow.